Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video where today we're going to watch Cardiff City versus Middlesbrough in the Championship, the return of Neil Warnock um, and the return of Salt Bamber as well, two City legends there. Now, last time around, losing our seventh game on the bounce against Fulham. That is our worst run of form since 1933. Absolutely shocking. And quite frankly, how on earth Mick McCarthy is still in a job is beyond me, but we'll, we'll get to that later anyway. But difficult tie against uh, Middlesbrough. We know all about Neil Warnock. We know all about how brilliant his size play football as well. Uh, it's going to unlike some people um, but yeah well any team that gets us from the bottom of the bottom of the championship to getting us promoted to the Premier League and nearly staying up by the skin of our teeth um, is for me good football anyway probably because I've been, we've been deprived of watching football since 2014 but apart from that team news is not out yet because we've got to get to this game super early as it is the first one with Covid passes you know my opinions on that I feel sorry for the Borough fans as well who've got to get here early as well all the way down from the northeast. How on earth is this game on Sky? Honestly, absolutely shocking. Did Sky even have a map when they uh, made this game? Who knows? But apart from that, let's do it. Thoughts on the game today, then? <laughs> we got well. We got a win or draw at least seven games on the bounce. Yeah, it's uh, it's not good, is it? Um, surely the axe is being sharpened for uh, McCarthy's head, but. Um, can we get anything out of this game? Yeah, I've got a sneaky feeling we can. But I think we will. I think we can actually win this game. Something like 1-0 or 2-1. I don't know how. I just got this feeling. But uh, maybe that's the feeling of feeling rough again. Because I am... Uh, got the dreaded lurgy again. It's back. But um, how I've got myself out of bed this morning to come and watch this. Well, that's commitment, isn't it? And uh, hopefully the players can show that sort of commitment and really put on a show today, really, you know, fly into the tackles and get something out of this game because Middlesbrough are definitely going to be up for this. Hopefully the Bluebirds will win and uh, put on a good show. Yeah, because if the first goal goes in from, say, for example, Middlesbrough, if they score oh, first, I've got a feeling it's going to get pretty toxic in there. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt at all. But uh, hopefully there'll be enough Cardiff fans in there to... Uh, get behind the players as well because uh, numbers are starting to dwindle especially with covid passes today mm. as well that's going to drop it even further but Probably. whenever we really struggle to perform the tenancies tend to dip by quite a few thousand yeah, so yeah the fickleness sometimes is you know but uh cardiff aren't playing well let's just hopefully we can have a good well lunch time kick off and hopefully the bluebirds will put up some sort of fight today but i think Definitely seeing this one today, guys. Team news is out. What do we reckon? Well, there we are. That's what we've got. Smithies, back four of NG, McGuinness, Flint, Brown. And in the middle of the park, we've got Vox, Pack, Ray Cole. On the left, we've probably got, or right, we've got Giles. And then up front, we've got Collins and Harris. Probably Harris is playing on the wing, but uh, look at that. Keep for more on the bench. Not good. Massive 
respect to the Borough fans. Here we go. Oh! And in the way. Very easy to put those out here. Hey! Bobby, Bobby! Bobby, Bobby! Ten minutes gone. Cage is anything like the middle from the side of the bad team so far. Really captured well, but just have no answer on the uh, final foot when against the box. Quite a few uh, going into Rosetta, the captain. A few going wide, but we've really got what's on the counter. Really delivered more forward, but if we can get a result after this today, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, no problem. But uh, uh, miss pace and um, tackles from Cardiff. Um, Cardiff haven't really threatened. Even Stevens. Well, we should say did you have a pen there. Good job, the referee is as blind as usual. City, come on, City, come on, City, come on. What is he? Honestly, I don't even know where to start with that. Uh, going down from the penalty, very unlucky. Could work very well with nil-nil. I don't even think we've even had a shot on target in this game, uh, which just goes to show it all, really, at the end of the day. Uh, and that chance towards the end of the game, absolutely abysmal. Uh, just no confidence there. No, they couldn't make a decision. Well, if, you, if you're in space, you should shoot on the side. We could have easily got a goal there, and they completely bottled it. If we would have had someone like Keeper Moore, who should have started today, then that would have more than likely gone in. Just absolutely embarrassing, and the referee has been an absolute joke, honestly. I, I have I absolutely lost words. Could have even been more, to be honest. Could have been about 2 or 3 nil if they took their chances. And to be honest, at the moment, as it stands, if he isn't gone by, I don't know, about 5 o'clock tonight, then I will be absolutely furious. What do you think? What do I think of that performance? Absolutely terrible. Devoid of confidence. No fight. No spirit. Crowd are getting on their backs, which isn't great either. Uh, we've got another 45 minutes of this, but referee. I wouldn't trust him to referee a Sabutio match. Absolutely terrible.
come on. Decision making, all of the shot. 2 0, knew it was coming. Club statement, five o'clock tonight, please. And a goal in the middle the goal for the visitors, scored by number 10, That's Martin tough. Payero. Colorado City nil, Finisburg 2. And then you get it sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. You get it sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning, you get it sacked in the morning. Oh, we lose every week, lose every week, we lose every week. You're nothing special, we lose every week. To the ice all about the hey! Should have been 3-0 then. This has been utterly dire, honestly. Get it sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning, you get it sacked in the morning. Uh, Mick McCarthy, get out of our club. Uh, Mick McCarthy, get out of our club. County, we're coming for you. Sacked in the morning, you're getting sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning, you're getting sacked in the morning. You're getting sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. One knee a warner. One knee a warner. There's only one knee a warner. One knee a warner. There's only one knee a warner. There's only one knee a warner. Okay, so I did do my round about an hour ago now, um, but it is currently quarter to four. We've just come out of the pub and we've had some breaking news in that Mick McCarthy and Terry Connor have both left Cardiff City Football Club. In my opinion, the, absolutely the right decision, especially after today, it just completely fell apart and eight games, the longest losing run in the club's history. He absolutely had to go um, and to be honest, yeah, all I can say is the right decision. As for, as for the performance, once again, wasn't good. And yeah, really, really disappointing and disgraceful. What do you think? Well, yeah, first half today, absolutely terrible. Mentioned that at half time. Second half, the first, was it 20 minutes or so? We, we um, yeah, dug it deep and uh, had a couple of really good opportunities. I think we hit the bar, they uh, cleared off the line. Their keeper made um, a, a good save or two as well. But uh, after that, it was... Um, yeah, it, it just went all a bit stale, didn't it? And uh, Burrow got their second goal, I think it was in like 74th, 75th minute. And um, after that, we we lacked punch, we lacked idea again. A couple of youngsters came on, so it's good to give them some minutes. But uh, yeah, as you say, Nathan, quarter to four now. Um, just getting the news that uh, 
Mick has been sacked along with TC as well. Nobody likes, um, you know, uh, people losing their jobs and all that sort of thing, which is a sad thing. But the grand schemes things that with the, the amount of losses on the bounce now and not really going there, it's like a direction and all that sort of thing. He had to go. So uh, yeah, good luck for the future, Mick, etc. But uh, we got to move on. Cardiff City and uh, I think it's Morrison's taking charge for the Morrison's time taking charge yeah so hopefully he'll bring in some fresh ideas and everything okay the we haven't really got um the biggest of squads and the, the, the talent in that squad it, it's not going to be you know we're not going to pull up any trees in the next few weeks I can see but uh, hopefully those fresh ideas and um, probably hopefully a little bit uh, if you can tweak it and little change the way we play and everything we can we can get something out of Stoke next uh, next weekend but uh, it's going to be tough I think Hull are losing I'm not sure about Barnsley are they playing tomorrow I can't remember yeah, now, tomorrow. But, um, hopefully we won't slip into that relegation zone after the uh, after the uh, the rest of the matches today but uh, onwards and upwards new beginnings got to be positive now and uh, get fully behind the, the new manager and Morrison you, who would you say you'd want in at this instance would you say I don't know first thoughts on manager I don't know, maybe more, we'll see how he gets on, but uh, <laughs> there's plenty of uh, names out there, but if we get them in, can we get them in? Can we even afford um, these names? <laughs> Ainsworth would be my choice, but he's currently um, in charge of uh, Wickham. Wickham Wanderers, so uh, you know they'd have to pay a lot of compensation to Wickham. Yeah, absolutely, and really, I, couldn't, I can't really see the club doing that, to be honest, but... Uh, at the moment, I'm not going to give a prediction in terms of who I want in. I think it's just too early, and it, it, we got to wait and see on how things unfold. Whether they do put uh, Steve Morrison as caretaker manager, but it looks like he's going to oversee training this week. And in theory, I want the board to absolutely take their time, and we're getting this next appointment in because we need a long-term plan. We need direction of what they want to do with the club. But apart from that, if you guys have enjoyed it, then please remember to like, comment, subscribe, do what you can support the channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. Follow all my social medias in description below and I'll see you all next time with a new beginning at Cardiff City Football Club. Have a good one, guys. Boy, wow.